Welcome to the Golf Swing Weekly Fix. Mark Crossfield here talking angle of attack with the driver. You could do this with other clubs as well. Um, I did this recently in a video, talked about wrist angles down near last parallel, which really kind of hit light bulbs, I think, for lots of people. So let's push it on a little bit more. Angle of attack. Let's get stuck in. So angle of attack with any club, but let's talk driver. Why is it important? If I was to hit down at the ball compared to up at the ball, with all things being equal, there will be a difference in the distance the ball travels. So I'm gonna hit a little bit further if I hit up than I am than if I hit down, as a general rule. Now, it doesn't mean you need to hit down uh, sorry, hit up at every shot. Not at all, you can hit down. It's just I see lots of students that I teach hitting excessively down. So let's say six to eight down with the driver. What that causes often is lower launching balls. Balls that often will curve off to the right. That's not to do with the downward aspect. That's one of many aspects, but it's a kind of common pattern. And I see shots that spin a lot as well, so they lose distance through higher spin. Now, hitting down doesn't create more spin. It's one of the elements that can allow you to hit with more spin on a driver, but it doesn't do it on its own so try not to get confused with that maybe I'll do another video on that at some point now what happens when we get players hitting down a lot is they seek advice and there's lots of advice out there on how to hit up and down there are some cheap ideas cheap doesn't mean they're worthless I just see them have smaller effect with golfers so for instance if I was to put the ball off the front of my foot here on my left foot here sit opposite my left heel which is where I'd hit my driver this absolutely makes me hit and feels like I'm going to hit up at the ball compared to if I put my driver in the middle it makes me feel like I'm going to hit level to even more down so ball position can have its effect now the next thing that happens as well I would start with my upper body side bending slightly to the right, so tilting to the right, right shoulder lower than left, those kind of ideas. This absolutely gives me the feeling that I can hit up the ball as long as I retain or use some of that side bend also at impact as well. Now, a common issue I see with lots of golfers is tend to have their shoulders pointing along my left. This then can get them leaning into the target. This is great for hitting down and swinging to the left, which is often what you don't want, maybe to maximize your launch characteristics. But they're smaller, cheaper little bits of tips that often don't help students. Let me show you a little experiment I did uh, to see if it kind of clarifies what I mean. Let me show you a few things. So I'm gonna put the ball in my normal gaming position just off my left here. I'm gonna show you the drill I want you to use. So I'm gonna be in radial and turn through. Just chipping them out there. Angle of attack on that one, when I get into uh, ulnar deviation, I said radial then, but ulnar, so wrist pointing down to the ground, that's 4.7 up. So I put myself in this preset, last parallel, and I was in ulna, not radio, as I said at the start, ulna deviation, so wrist pointing down the ground, turn through, 4.7 up. Ball position off my left heel. I am now in radial deviation, so hinged up, turning through, trying to get down to that ball as fast as I can, not to top it. Launch, uh, angle of attack on that one, 2.3 down. So massive difference in my angle of attack from that preset. Now watch this. So I'm now gonna put the ball in the middle of my stance, which is wrong, but I'm gonna get in ulnar deviation, wrist down to the ground, and I'm gonna turn through and hit it. So you're gonna do this drill in a second to see for yourselves. My angle of attack on that one, again, 3.5 up, no different. Same angle of attack. I'm now gonna put the ball way off my left foot. So it's actually beyond my left foot. I'm gonna get into radial deviation. So again, hinging up, lag position that people seem to desire to want. Turn through, hit my shot, not a bad shot. Angle of attack on that one. It's on the second page, here it comes. 1.4 down. So you can see how the wrist angle I'm getting into. So ulna, down to the ground, radial hinged up it's far outweighing those two extreme ball positions we're talking almost a foot indifference in ball positions where i see students fussing about an inch you know should i have it just inside my left foot on my left foot those ideas are cheaper ideas that can influence but they don't influence if the overriding issue is that you're in such poor risk conditions as you come down and hit the ball so let's show you how to use this drill help you improve in this angle of attack 
So great ideas with controlling that angle of attack. You could see how the angle I put my wrist into seriously affected the angle of attack regardless of my setup positions. But look, let's have a little drill for trying to get you the feel of hitting the ball on the way up. So I am going to put the ball opposite my left heel. I'm going to start with a little bit of side tilt, which often for lots of golfers is pointing uh, shoulders at the target, even slightly to the right isn't a problem. Now what I want you to do is make your normal backswing, normal downswing, but when you get to last parallel, so hands opposite sit right leg and club parallel to the ground I want you to feel like your left arm here and lead wrist see how it's in ulna it's basically bent down to the ground don't want you in radial want you in ulna now I also want this foot joy pad pointing slightly down at the ground so left wrist level with my left arm so I'm going to come down here and stop and then what I'm going to try and do from here is literally just chip it forwards so it's like a 40 yard, 50 yard chip forwards. Ball won't particularly go in the air because there's no speed, but I want you to see if you can actually hit a ball that way, contact with the ball that way, to see if you can actually get any kind of strike when you put yourself into that ulnar position. Sure. Opposed to what I see lots of people trying to do and in and magazines and stuff, trying to get you into this radial position where you try and hit the ball from here is where I've actually got the wrist at zero deviation to slightly hinged up radial. From here for me, I mean, literally just feels like I'm gonna ram the ball down into the air, hit it along the ground because I am hitting down at that. I cannot get out of that much hinge in that smaller time. Think about it. If I have my hand in this radial position at this last impact, if I was just to rotate through here, What's going to happen is the club is delivered in the air. It's nowhere near the ground. It's the ulnar deviation, putting that hand this way as you get into that downswing, that's going to set that club on the ground. So top of your backswing, up to the top, stop. Pulling down that last parallel, left wrist, flan it off as if it's not there. Make sure you're in ulna and then just push through. I mean, caught that one right off the toe and it shot off to the right. That's not the point. It's just trying to feel a contact in that way. Do a couple of those and then you're gonna try and move it into a full swing. So you, even before you hit your full swing, you could try and get that feeling of this way, turning through and then put it into that bigger action. Doesn't matter what pro I've measured or decent player, all of them are ulna at last parallel, none of them in radial. It's a killer for golf and so many students out there. It's something that you need to change if you wanna start applying maybe some better angles, get better delivery hit some better drives. So let's take the drill one step further. I'm going to use another ball and I'm going to put it one club head ahead of the, my teed up ball. And I'm going to do the drill from there so you can probably guess what's going to happen here. So I'm going to go into that last parallel, flat left wrist with my arm, ulna, turn through, not touching the ball in front. And I'm going to do another one, same thing, ulna, flat left wrist, Turning through, much better strike that one, so I didn't catch the bottom of the club more out the middle, still the ball hasn't gone. So I'm not trying to fin the ball to miss the ball in front. I'm trying to make sure that my attack is coming from below, hitting somewhere in the face and obviously on the way up going over that ball. And then you can just kind of, again, still one club length in front of the ball, put yourself in the radial. So that's hinging up, turn through. So you can see there I'm hitting both balls. Almost impossible there with that ball in front, subject to where you strike it on the face, to not hit that secondary ball. Take that drill one step that little bit further, just to get the feel of that turning through, hitting up, really will help you, I think, with your launches, your spins, your distance, hopefully consistency, hit more fairways. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places, also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.